What's up guys, we're here again for another video. Thank you guys for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm hanging out my car window. While making the drive down south to the mythical land of Mexico. So this video is gonna be kind of uh, short and sweet. I haven't had much time to record this part of the video and edit the video uh, because I've been getting ready to go out of town for five weeks. So my time has been mainly spent um, at home hanging out with my kids and my girlfriend and my dog and at work obviously. Just trying to get as much done as I can here before I have to move on and uh, live out of a suitcase for five weeks. So we'll get right to it. So this is kind of part two to the photo shoot I had with Richard and his Nova. Uh, he hit me up and he said he wanted to do uh, some activities down south. Uh, we kind of coordinated our schedules and we um, made the drive down. The purpose was to get some cool roller shots and some shots of the car in action. The gear I was using for this was my uh, Canon R6 and for the roller section of this, uh, I used the, my 15 to 35 lens, which I'm currently filming on. And in the later part of the video, uh, I shot my 85 millimeter. Generally for these type of shots, you want to raise your f-stop to like an f10, f13, f16, um, f11, whatever, so that you try to get most of the car uh, that you're photographing in focus. The trick to it is lowering down your shutter speed so that when you take a photo, the car remains in focus and everything else around it shows the motion. For these specific photos, um, I was shooting at f11, one over 40th on my shutter and ISO 100. Of course, these settings are not universal. Everything varies depending on the light that is outside. If you've never shot rollers before out of a moving car, car alarms going off um, maybe you can just use these as a baseline and then start to tweak depending on the light that you are in another thing that's very important is that the driver that you have um, they need to remain a constant speed I had my lovely girlfriend Alyssa driving me and I told her to stay at 40 and while I was in the um, while I was hanging out the car window, I would direct Richard to get close, to get far, to pass me, or whatever, right? You're directing traffic at that point. When you have the most success rate is when both cars are at the same speed, it's going to be harder or almost nearly impossible to get a rolling shot if one car is zooming past the other. on our travels all the way down south to Mexico, I switched over to my 85 millimeter, started capturing the action as it was happening. One thing that I do here with this kind of stuff, specifically shooting drag racing, is that you never kind of stop shooting. You have to continuously find a shot, continuously find an angle, and follow the action wherever it goes, right? So to help me follow the action, in my camera, I switched the camera over so that it does not show me a preview of the photo I got, so that I can just remain in the action. I think uh, a lot of us kind of struggle with uh, the shoot and look, um, and then that eliminates all of your follow through. To be able to do this properly is I get my settings before everything's starting, and then I just kind of uh, watch my light meter so I can stay within, um, you know, the stop and a half to a stop lower that I'm shoot normally shooting at. All right, but we'll get right to it. Here's me photographing some action down in the mythical land of Mexico. <laughs>
guys, that's it for me today. Like I said, just a real quick video of showing you these rollers and these photos of a hit and burnouts and stuff down in Mexico. Uh, like I've been saying before, I'm getting ready for this long trip uh, to be on the road with Farm Trek and Asian as we follow the No Prep Kings schedule. Sounds like they're filming season two of Locals Only, which is airing right now on Discovery Channel. As far as content for myself, I'm taking two cameras, two digital cameras, the R5, R6, and I think I'm gonna take two film cameras and a ton of black and white film. Uh, sometimes I have, uh, you know, a few moments to myself at the hotel or wherever spot we're at. Sometimes we stop somewhere cool. I'll just try to capture everything I can on film, sometimes even on my digital cameras. And I uh, keep doing this because I've been really enjoying uh, doing this for myself and I definitely don't want to stop. Whatever it is, I'm going to try to bring you guys along, record a little video. They might be short, under 10 minutes or so, but I don't mind that. But that's it guys. I'll leave you with these photos of uh, some more rollers that I got on the way back home. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.